hello, hello everybody. It is Caitlin here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are just getting comfortable sitting down with our journals and getting organized for the upcoming week. I thought this would be a good opportunity to share with you all how I'm planning my weeks and days in my new traveler's notebook which currently I'm using as a bullet journal in my main kind of agenda or planner or whatever you call something along those lines. If you're new to my channel or just curious what this weekly spread is going to look like, I really like doing simple, clean, and minimal spreads that really don't have much decoration besides occasional stamping and hand lettering that I like to do because I find it calming and relaxing. I also don't like to use a lot of supplies just so that I'm not switching pens all the time because I find that a bit tedious. So I'll make sure to link all the supplies below if you're interested, but really all you need to recreate this setup is a pencil, some black ink, some stamps, and a black gel pen of your choice. I really like doing a modified version of the traditional bullet journal daily log for my weekly and daily spreads. I just find that daily logs are a really great way to keep my own brain organized and it really helps me jot down things so I don't forget them, which is awesome. I like to modify my daily logs a little bit by creating this kind of dashboard on the left hand side. And this functions as a weekly to-do list where I like to brain dump all the things I have to do at the beginning of the week. This week I'm just doing a really simple task list with a header at the top that says the number of the week. And this is the most basic version of this spread. Sometimes I'll go in and make it a little more complicated and I'll do that by either dividing up the page so I have a section every day to write down key events and tasks or I will make an Alistair method to-do list for the weeks where I need to schedule to-do list items to specific days to stay organized. A good example of this type of Alistair method list is my monthly task list. I always like to turn to my monthly task list before I start planning my week so I can see if I have any to-do list items already on there that are scheduled for the current week that I need to write down. So those are the items that I'm writing down at first. I'm also writing down a couple of things I want to do that I just kind of remembered off the top of my head. Things like making this plan with me video. I have some things that I want to bake this week because I'm really into baking lately, especially in lockdown. And other stuff like that, stuff for grad school, some plant gardening stuff, you know, really anything that comes to my mind, I write down. For bigger projects or to-do list items that have multiple tasks inside of them, like in making my plan with me video, I will list subtasks by inverting them underneath the main task. After I have my weekly to-do list filled out and I've written down everything I can remember, I then go into my daily logs for the week and I set these up on the day itself. So I'm only gonna be filling out the Monday daily log here in this video. But essentially what I do for these is I use my cursive to write the day of the week, the month itself, and then the day of the month. And then right directly underneath, I go in and I write all of the events, due dates, to-dos, birthdays, all that stuff that I have to get done or I want to make sure that I know about. I do like to use pretty similar signifiers to the original bullet journal method, but I thought I would flip to my key here to show you all of the signifiers I use because there are a couple custom ones that I have implemented into my system. So here's a look at what my daily log looks like at the beginning of the day. As I go through my day, I like to keep my notebook open and check off things as I do them and also fill in events as they pass. And personally, what I like to do in terms of daily migration is I'll migrate tasks that I haven't done on Monday onto Tuesday, on Tuesday itself in the morning when I set up that daily log. Also, I like to go into my daily log at the end of the day and make sure that I've checked off everything I've actually done so it's updated. And then I'll also reference that and update my weekly master to-do list to make sure that to-dos that have been already done on Monday are crossed off there as well. 
so I can get a good idea of what I have done so far in the week and what is still to be done so I know what my workload is like. All right, and this is what the full spread looks like. Really simple, black and white, a little bit of gray with the pencil, which I really like, <laughs> and that is all I really do. So I hope if you're looking for something to help you get organized, this could maybe help you out. And that is the end of the video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone.